We are the Physicians Committee, and we're working to train toxicologists to replace animals in pesticide and chemical testing. Way back in the late 90s, EPA started a program called the High Production Volume Chemical Challenge Program. Many animals would be killed as a result of this program. No one thought about those animals. No one was at the table talking about what might happen to the animals in those tests. Some animal protection organizations like us and other organizations got involved and said, we really need to change the requirements. You need to allow for methods that would reduce or replace animals in those tests. If you want to have a safer environment and um, protect the public health from dangerous chemicals, EPA needs to implement non-animal test methods that are faster and more human relevant. We've been able to kind of encourage little by little the agency to turn itself around, make sure that they are taking serious steps to reduce and replace animal tests. Well, September 10th, the EPA announced that they were taking major steps to reduce and eventually replace the use of animals in chemical and pesticide testing. They committed to completely removing their requirements for mammalian testing by 2035. What's really important is that a government agency for the first time ever has come out and said, it is important to our mission to replace animals with more human relevant methods. And this is what we're going to do to get there. And we can now hold them accountable. I always had a heart for animals and I had an interest in science. I didn't really think that those two would necessarily meet, uh, but they did. And lucky me, I get to do work that advances my values and changes the world and uh, makes this place safer for people and animals.